Hi, Muffin. Well, this is... Hi. Well, this is another episode of, um, Chickens 101. And here, I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Like, grooming-wise, for your chickens. The first thing you need to do is trim your chicken's beak. And trim your chicken's, like, toenails. Because, as you can see, like, Muffin is looks like he's about due for beak trimming. And his toenails are getting a little long, so I'll have to do that lay later today. And don't worry. Trimming a chicken's beak and toenails does not hurt the chicken. Doesn't mean they like getting them trimmed. Like, you're going to have to hold your chicken a bit while you trim it because... Because they hate when you, like, mess with their head. Like, they don't like it when you, like, grab their head. They don't like that for some reason. But it's important that you trim your chicken's beaks because if you don't trim a chicken's beak, it'll eventually grow to the point to where they can't even eat. Like, the top of their beak is so long, they can't, like, grab food with it anymore. Yeah, and you can just use, like, regular nail clippers. To trim their beaks and and claws yeah and just every now and then you just have to trim their beaks are you guys rolling around in the dirt yeah like chickens like to roll around in dirt they do it to get rid of mites which is what i'm gonna talk about next okay a big problem that my chickens face are feather mites and leg mites now, feather mites, as the name suggests, like, live in the feathers, mainly, mainly in the areas under the wings, and around the tail, and what they do is they sit there, and they, like, suck the blood of, of like, of, like, the chicken. And what chickens do is that they roll around in dirt and or dust and it like it suffocates the the mites and if you watch what muffin is doing right now and sunshine is doing they're they're kicking up the dirt and trying to get it like like on their skin see how they're ruffling their feathers yeah like they like they try to get it on their skin to kill the mites but if feather mites become a real problem, you can either either bathe them with like soap and water, like scrub them really good in their feathers, like under the wings and stuff, or or you can get a little bit of pesticide and rub it in their feathers, and by Pesticide, I mean this. It's like garden and poultry dust. Like it kills like bugs. Yeah, like you just put a little of this, like get it in their feathers. And yeah, it'll kill the mites. Uh, don't just start rubbing your chickens in any old pesticide. It, it, it might poison them. But this, as far as I know, it's safe. Mainly because it says poultry. But it usually never becomes like a major issue. It's mainly just a slight annoyance. And now for leg mites. You're probably asking like, like why am I, like why am I looking at the big ones? So because for some reason the big chickens have like the worst like leg mites like they're really bad for getting leg mites why I don't know and what leg mites do is they get under the under the scales 
and they like lay eggs and and they feed on the chicken's blood like under the it as you can see the 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 scales the scales look raised and flaky that's because they are infested with mites and like what i do is that i use this uh it's called red coat and um and if i open it up I open it. you can see like yeah it's like this like oily substance and like you take this brush and you gotta coat coat the coat the legs and feet really good with this like get it in the creases of the foot like in in, in between the toes like just coat it really good in this stuff and it like helps kill the it helps kill the mites and yeah it gets all over your hands and stuff it's really messy and then after after I do that like a couple months later I give it another coat and so on and so forth until it completely goes away like it's gonna take time for the stuff to for like the scaliness to go away and for that, I just use, like, regular baby oil. Like, it softens the scales a bit. Makes them look less flaky. And, and I have no idea why, but, but it's always the big ones that get, like, really bad, um, foot scales. Like, scale mites. Yeah, and with, but with what makes leg mites so dangerous... Is that if left untreated, it can actually cause the actual toes to fall off. Yes, the toes will fall off. Hey, okay, that's why I'm treating it.